Hello friend, today we dive into the armory. People of Guardians Frontline keep asking how to build an armory, how do you get to build one, and also what is the benefit? Long story short, the armory gives your units more health, gives them more damage, and even new functions. You're also able to unlock other special things we're gonna dive into in a moment. So this here is the armory. We build it in the inventory. I have it available here costing 200 minerals, and I've simply unlocked it by being high enough rank in the game. In short, I needed experience to unlock ranks, and now I'm able to build an armory. So if I click the armory with my multi-tool, I can find different kind of upgrades, drivable mech, cannon tower, damage boost to my units, health boost, also tank barrage mode, and mind control grenade. We're gonna go through these all step by step. Let's first start the drivable mech upgrade. So as you can see, it starts researching. You can see the research bar also filling up on top of the armory. Let's let it complete the research. So now we can see research is complete. If I click the armory again, I can see that it's grayed out, drivable mech, so no, I have drivable mech upgrade from the armory. Let's build a mech. It's a beautiful mech. I still need to upgrade it to drivable with 75 minerals. Let me upgrade this beast and let's now go in in the mech. I have researched a drivable mech and I'm having a blast with it. <laughs> no pun intended. Do you know that you can also research all mechs to be drivable or you to be able to upgrade them drivable in the game if you use research points on the ship? So you don't necessarily have to use the armory to get this upgrade. Do you notice that there's a panel on the right? I can switch between the turning modes. But if you upgrade the mech technology using research points on your ship, you can also change the weaponry of your mechs. Our next research is cannon tower. Let's build that. Our cannon tower research is now complete. So that's also grayed out. That cost 150 minerals. And now if we build a teleport, here, we can now upgrade it to have a cannon tower on it. Now you can see it's researching here. And of course it matters what the direction is, so let's say where it's, where it's actually pointing. But now we have a cannon tower. Now I can jump on the cannon tower and use this to shoot enemies, which is delightful. People on Discord have said that you can also use this for blocking. You can block bugs from entering from specific entrances or something like that. And of course you also have nice vantage points here you can see farther and um, it's also nice damage. Why not? Let's then research damage. So this should give all our units 10% damage and you can do this multiple times. So now all these dudes will deal 10% more damage when the research is complete. I do wonder if also our turrets will do the same, our cannons and anti-air. At least these units that you can move around. When you have a group of these combat robots, they're actually super powerful by default, but then if you research them using the armory, they become a lot more powerful, more health, more damage. And do remember, you can already make these more powerful on your ship by using research points. Let's try this again, let's give them another buff, 20%. I believe this means that it's gonna be a total of 20% damage boost, as in not 10% plus 20%. Let's actually do damage 35% next. So this is now the third damage buff to our units. The more powerful the upgrade, the longer it takes. Makes sense. As you can see, I can only buff one thing at a time. Damage is now being researched. I can't do health plus 10 at the same time. I do like the fact that the cannon tower, you can also teleport to it. Who knows, maybe someone would like to build some kind of a chain of these cannon towers so you can teleport across the map. <laughs> I do feel my units are already getting stronger. They have more damage, so they will be more untouched. And when I give them also health boosts, they're gonna be more durable, obviously. Research complete. Now it's maximum damage. So we were able to do that three times. Let's now go to health. Someone on Discord said that the best strategy is to go damage, health, damage, health, damage, health, or vice versa, but don't go just damage. I'm sure it's a matter of playstyle and preference. There's no perfect strategy in a way. Okay, let's go next level on health. 20% health buff to our units. Our units are standing strong here, and also our beautiful cannon tower is there, ready to serve. As you can see, the cannon tower is not super accurate, but it's definitely strong. I do also wonder if people use this in PvP. <laughs> let's go for the final health buff, plus 35%. Some Someone did mention on Discord that at least in the current version, it also boosts the health of your walls. So if I build a wall, this also would have more health. Let's make this wall super powerful by giving it a force field. <laughs> I've unlocked this force field version of the wall, 
with research points on the ship. This is not an armory thing, I'm just doing this for fun. So you can see there's a force field now. It regenerates over time. Someone also mentioned on Discord that they used the armory to protect the base. Put it in harm's way so it will be crashed first, it will be destroyed first instead of the base. So in this case, would be placed somewhere here. So the monsters, the bugs would be shooting it and not the base. That's an interesting use case, but the downside is that if this armory gets destroyed, all the buffs are lost and you have to start from scratch. Do also note that your team only needs one armory, so all players do not have to build their own armory. Everyone can borrow the armory, but the upgrades are personal. So if I, for example, research for cannon tower or drivable mech, only I will have cannon tower and drivable mech. What is next? Tank barrage mode. Oh, this is fun. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> it took like five seconds. So now we can build a tank. We can select the tank with our multi-tool and use special. As you can see, it already starts shooting people all around the map, but we can also put barrage, so it's gonna continuously shoot just one location. Whatever is coming through will be taking a lot of damage. For example, that scorpion. Here we go. Yes. So now we have two tanks in barrage mode, and I would think that not many monsters get to go through without taking at least one hit. Here we go. They're, they're destroying the box coming through very nicely. The barrage mode has a lot of use cases, but mainly, of course, it's for defending. Maybe you don't have to put combat robots there, maybe you don't have to put turrets as much if a couple of tanks are shooting and covering the one gate. Finally, we have mind control grenade. It's gonna be a special grenade that's gonna be dropped next to the armory. Here we have one. So I used the mind control grenade on this dude and you can see this little icon on top of it. It's on our side. It's very nice to use the mind control grenade on something powerful, like one of the dragon looking things or maybe one of those huge scorpions. They're gonna be fighting on your side for a little while. I believe the default is like two minutes. And do also keep in mind that you can also research mind control grenades again on the ship using research points. Oh, that was sad. He ran out of the mind control and he was killed by the turrets, as one bug should. Our barrage is doing nicely, shooting everything coming through. Not completely destroying them, but dealing a lot of lot of damage already. Easy for the turrets, easy for the combat robots to finish the job. No! Okay, you were so strong, you can be my friend. Follow me. Yes, I can control. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's gonna be my bodyguard. This bug is my friend. Come here, my friend. Come here. Come here. Would have been lovely to have a mind control grenade used on the scorpion because they deal a lot of damage, as we know. Very interesting, especially if there's some kind of a base, a nest, a spawner for the bugs. Obviously, a scorpion will destroy the spawners very quickly. I do have to say that, again, my troops, my units do feel a lot stronger now. Less firing required to bring the same monsters down. And also, they're able to take more beating. So there you have it. This is the armory. We unlocked it having enough experience points to have a specific rank. And also, then we build it using our multi-tool. It's one of the structures you can build here, just like a proximity mine or an anti-air. You have the armory here. And then you click it with the multi-tool and you choose this research. You choose which research you want to do.